Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Valorant on your any PC, and this will give you better FPS, lower input delay, and lower ping. So, guys, make sure to watch my this whole video, and without wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. So guys, before doing any optimization on your PC, it is very important to refresh your Windows file. So, for that, go for your Windows search, search for temp, and there you will find that the later temporary file. So, open up system settings, and there you will find out your old temporary files and everything. Now, here I have 5.8. 8 gb of the temporary files on my pc so open up temporary files now uncheck the download box because these have some important data of your uh, pc which you downloaded and simply check mark on all these other boxes now you need to go for remove file option and remove all these temporary and junk files from your pc now the next step you need to download these application and files on your pc link will be down in the description simply go there and download these files on your pc now here in the very first step, here we go at Process Lasso, that is one of the well-known applications for optimizing your CPU that will help you to get more FPS. So guys, simply double tap on this exe file, hit yes, hit ok, click I agree, click next, and install this tool on your PC. After installation, here you will find that this kind of interface, here is the processes, responsiveness, your memory load, and all the CPU cores of your a processor. Now here is all the application which is running in your background and in your foreground. So now the very first step, go for this main tab, go for and check mark on manage processes of all the users. After that, now you need to go for active power profile and set it on Britsum highest performance or high performance because this will work best for your PC. Choose it according to your need, test both and select what work best for you. High performance work best for me, so I will go with high performance. Now you need to go for this option that is the Pro Balance Enable so make sure to uncheck this box from here. Now here is Performance Mode Enable, you can also check mark here but this will cause some overheating for your CPU but this will give you some more FPS but I suggest you simply leave this. Now the next step, you need to launch your Valorant. Okay so once you launch the Valorant in your background, now you need to go for this Active Process tab and there you will find that your Valorant Launcher or Exe file. Now simply right click here, now you will find out here your CPU, PRP. Now this is your Task Manager settings but you need to go for this Always section and set it on High Performance or real time according to your pc you can try with high or real time and choose what work best for you but for me i suggest you to go with high for having the better performance and better fps now again right click here now you need to go for cpu affinity go for all select all your cpu cores or thread and set this on none after that now you need to go for your input and output priority now go for all wave and set it on high for having the lowest input delay out of your mouse and keyboard and for having the lowest response time so guys now again go for your valorant right click here now you need to go for power profile and again set it on high performance power plan now again right click here now you need to go for this more option go for hard throttle Go for always and set it on no total for having stable and better FPS in Valorant. Now guys, once you follow all the settings, now click on the close button and this application will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your PC and show you all these steps. So now the next step, open up this GPU thread priority optimization folder. Inside you will find that AMD thread optimization registry file for Intel and for Nvidia. Now choose it according to your GPU model. I have Nvidia, so I will go with Nvidia thread priority. Double tap here. Hit yes, hit ok and this will set your GPU priority on highest. Now the next step we are going to use MSI Utility V3 versions. Open up the zip file and drag this exe file on your desktop. Now right click here and make sure to run this application as administrator for having the full access. Now hit yes and open up this application. Now there you will find out your GPU model. I have Nvidia GeForce RTX 3070. You have AMD or Intel simply go for it. Check mark on this MSI box. Now go for Intel Purity and set it on high. Once you're done, now you need to go for Intel UHD, that is your Ultra HD Intel graphics. Go for it. Check mark here. Go for Intel Purity and also set it on high. Once you apply the settings, click on the apply button and apply these changes. Now in the next step, I'm gonna show you some important display settings that will also help you to getting better FPS and response time in Valorant. So for that, right click on your desktop and open up display settings now scroll all the way down and there you will find that your deleted settings and under there you will find graphic settings so go for it now you need to go for change the default graphic settings check mark and turn on the hardware accelerated gp scheduling turn on the variable refresh rate and also turn on the optimization for windows 
game once you're done now you need to go back into the graphics tab now go for this browse option and simply select out here your directory where you install your Valorant. So go for this PC, go for local league C, go for your game, Valorant, live, shooter game, binary win64. And there you will find out your Valorant win64 shipping.exe file. So click here on the add button and add here your Valorant. Now go for option and set it on highest performance. Now hit save and save the settings. So guys, these are the settings you need to apply on your PC right now if you want to get better performance in Valorant. I hope you love it. Please make sure to share your opinion about this video in the comment section and see you again in the next video.